the Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for all nations. The Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for all nations is the largest evangelical church in all of Europe. Located in Kyiv, Ukraine, the church in its nine years of existence has seen more than one million people accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. There are more than 20,000 members who regularly attend the church services. The social work of the Embassy of God is accepted by the Ukrainian government. During the next 30 minutes, you have the opportunity to encounter the living God. We believe this program will help you to develop your relationship with Him. Jesus forgives every sin, sets people free from addictions, heals every sickness, brings harmony to your family and prosperity to your business. Only God can bring a real solution to the situation you are in and give the answer to your every question. He can help you to fulfill the calling and destiny that is waiting for you. You are welcome to visit the Embassy of God webpage at www.godembassy.org or write us at tv at godembassy.org. You're watching the Embassy of God program. You are watching the Embassy of God program. According to the information by the World Health Organization, Ukraine takes first place in Eastern Europe in the rate of spreading drug addiction and AIDS among youth. More than 40% of adults in our country are in alcohol or drug addiction. Close to 80% of teenagers have tried drugs. 90 out of every 100 people who try drugs become addicted. We are happy to be here today, and on behalf of all the graduates of our Rehabilitation Center, and together with you, we have the opportunity to give God praise that we are alive today. In the 10 years of our center, more than 3,000 people received deliverance from alcohol and drug addiction. More than 3,000. But you know, to say only this number, 3,000, is not going to be right or correct, because statistics says that for each drug or alcohol addiction, there are at least, minimum, two other codependents. It can be the mother, father, grandmother, husband, wife, or children who also suffer from problems. And you know, if you take the statistical number, multiply 3,000 by 2, and add it to the number of addicts, that would be 9,000 happy people living in this country who are free today, free from all dependencies. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And our International Rehabilitation Center has started to minister to very high-ranking people. Besides the children who have fallen into the net of drug addictions, many are sick from AIDS. Many people come from abroad to learn from us. Little girls believe in miracles because they happen in fairy tales. But Caroline believes in miracles because it happened at her house. In the story of Pinocchio, the log is changed into a boy. But we had a miracle at our house too. The miracle happened with my father. I was a drug addict for six years. Five times I was in the hospital. Five times I consulted with witches and miscellaneous psychics, but this did not save me. I could not find the way out. I was treated in the live-in center for four months, for a total rehabilitation of six months, and then began to work. Now my mom, my dad, and I are happy. A miracle happened here.
In 10 years, the Love Rehabilitation Center has seen more than 3,500 people become free from drug and alcohol addiction. In the center, there are groups for those who suffered from uncontrollable behavior and addiction to computer games, and also for people who worry about their weight. There is also a place where men and women can recover from sicknesses. In the male and female ambulance stations, they get special rehabilitation courses. The consultants have been equipped to work at the Heart to Heart 24-hour hotline. They are always ready to answer any difficult question. People who understand medicine say that it is easier to prevent sickness than to treat it, and workers from the center try and teach preventative measures. They routinely conduct meetings with students and their parents to help stop the many problems that arise from poor communication. They also publish Steps, a magazine for teenagers. People of all ages visit Love Rehabilitation Center. Golden Autumn, a club for retired citizens, has also been working for several years. Now we can meet together to sing, dance, share our joys, talk about our feelings, and pray for each other. Sometimes we realize that we are not wanted at home, and maybe nobody wants to listen to us. But here, I feel myself young and joyful. Here, we can follow our interests. We have people who can crochet, take pictures. We have all of them. We are so happy about it. Also, we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and some snacks for tea here. And the people at the church feed us for free. Ministers at Love Rehabilitation Center always help us prepare lunch for retired people. We fellowship together and are so glad to see each other and all of our friends. We always come ready to give hugs. It is not a secret that there are many drug-addicted people who are AIDS-infected. An anonymous consultation department is working with the AIDS-infected and conduct lessons about spirituality and psychological adaption for people. I had to make a choice between my future and what I needed to do now. I was confused. After finishing the Way to Freedom rehabilitation course, not only did I become free from drugs, of course God set me free, but I also got healed. I went to the hospital and all the medical tests show that I am completely healthy. The March of Life has been held in Kiev for four years in a row on the AIDS Victims Memorial Day. Love Rehabilitation Center organized the action. Tens of thousands of people walk in rows along the main street with about 3,000 rehabilitated people leading the march. They are proof that the center helps people who are trying to find the way out. I came there in 1995. I was an alcoholic. I was in agony for eight years from that. And now I have been free since 1995. God set me free from alcoholism, and after that I understood that it was easy. After looking for so many ways to be free, how to live a normal life and just be normal, I didn't want to live like I had been living, and it was the number one question for me. I was looking for the exit from the situation. My life was just destroyed. I had two divorces and I was from an intellectual family. I didn't mess around and I never stood by the liquor store, but I understood that I was dependent and all those depressions that came, that the image of life I led didn't satisfy me. I looked for the solution. I wanted to lead a normal, sensible life. I wanted to become someone famous, like an artist, so that my son could be proud of me. But due to alcoholism, I couldn't succeed. That is why I constantly looked for the way to easily receive freedom from alcohol dependency. And after several attempts to be treated at the hospital and private doctors by myself, to somehow stop it myself, I saw that nothing helped, and after these attempts, I met God. 
and God completely set me free. There is just a need to believe in God, and this will help. I wanted to share this with everybody. God immediately put it into my heart to help others. Because of this, I just forgot about my profession and I gave my entire life to God and to the people who were trying to find the solution, just as I was before. But the answer is very close to people, and it is just putting all our love and faith in God. And this is how our rehabilitation center started. And right away I started to help other people who just needed to have his help and my help to be free. And only 10 years ago, the first people began to come to me. After the first TV program, in which I told everything about my life and how I became an alcoholic, I was in horrible alcoholism for 30 years. Then I told them how I became free. And after my testimony, I started to talk to the relatives of addicts and the phones began to ring. And relatives had a lot of questions to ask. Also at the next TV program, about 36 drunks came, and at every program after that, I gave phone numbers and people started to call. I understood that there was a need to gather them together. At that time, there were no places in the village, none. So I invited them to my house. I divided them into groups and I understood that we needed to open a rehabilitation center for the relatives of those who are drug and alcohol addicts. First, they gathered in my house, about 30 to 60 people. And today, these people are totally restored and back to normal lives. Today, my dream is that not even one drug addict or alcoholic will remain in our country. In 10 years, Love Rehabilitation Center has already become international. Branches now work in all districts of Kiev and all the regions of Ukraine, and also has branches overseas in Russia, Holland, Germany, and the USA. Workers of Love Rehabilitation Center are well known that problems exist not only with the chemically dependent, but with those who live and talk with them. They often become dependent also. Therefore, for each drug and alcoholic, there will also be about two to three dependent relatives. Therefore, alcoholism and drug addiction is becoming a family disease. In Love Rehabilitation Center, special programs operate for relatives of those who are dependent. My son was a drug addict for many years. And when we came to God, God set him free from drug addiction. Now he is a servant of God. If I meet such mothers, I can see it in their eyes, and I know what they want and what they worry about. I talk with them and I invite them to the rehabilitation center. I had two sons with drug addictions. They are ministers now. They minister in the permanent residence center in the city of Irpin. I work with those mothers. I help them. I tell them how the service became possible. First, God gave me freedom for myself and freedom in action. I learned how to lead drug addicts, and now I tell other mothers what to do to see that their children become saved. Nina and Sergei Gorohov are in groups for relatives of addicts at the rehabilitation center. They learned how to treat their drug-addicted children correctly. I had to admit to myself that my children are addicted to drugs. Before this, I closed my eyes and thought that it was just a coincidence. But I made myself realize the reality of this fact. Of course, any mother or father will be looking for a solution out of this circumstance. They were our two beloved children. We dedicated all our lives to them, and we live just because of them. We did everything because of them. It turned out that what we served and loved only seemed to harm and hurt and just break us. And when I understood that I was powerless, I 
I saw that my children were also powerless. When I grasped the fact with my wife, we took our children to resident clinics to clean their systems of drugs, to hospitals for drips, pharmacies, even physiotherapy. But nothing helped. I prayed and cried all day and night constantly. I fell down on my knees and went to the balcony at night. And asked and called out for the will of God without understanding anything about the Bible, which I had read several times. I didn't know anything about my daughter and son. It wasn't good that there was an addict in front of him. Drugs doesn't care whether you are rich, poor, wise or foolish. And when a person understands that he is in trouble and admits to himself that he is a drug addict, this was difficult for me. You keep running from this and it seems that you are still not a drug addict. You never want to submit to this. But finally I admitted to myself that I am addicted, that I am in trouble. I understood that doctors and other methods could help me because an ambitious person with willpower considers himself greater than any doctor. So I already had a real sample in my brother. He was in the hospital, not once, but he was there many times, and I saw that he was not helped. I saw how my father got changed. I couldn't live at home for two years. I lived with my boyfriend to get drugs. So eventually I got tired of all this and I just came back to my house. At home I was defeated. In my relationship with my father I could see the difference and how he changed. I had known my father before, but now he was a very humble man. When I came to the rehabilitation center I didn't understand everything that was going on. But I saw the faithfulness of the workers who had been taking drugs before. I understood that to not use drugs, I only had to do those things that the guys in the center were doing. And just a month and a half later, I started to feel love for the new things I was doing. I am not smoking and I've come back to my normal life. For those people who need medical help and the rehabilitation center, there is a permanent residence center in the city of Irpin. It was here that Ippolit passed the intensive course of rehabilitation. He was under the caring eye and treatment of professional workers. My sister and I took drugs for six years. We had started to use opium, heroin and different chemical drugs that we have in Ukraine. I tried all of them. I was a very serious drug addict for six years. But now we live in freedom. We are happy and we are working and helping other people find the solution for their life. But the most important thing is that we are trying to keep ourselves away from it. But we just don't want it anymore. In our minds there is nothing that wants to go find a cigarette and smoke as we did before. And I want to say something more about God. Jesus can give us more than we could ever get from this life. It is different from anything or any kind of pleasure. His gifts are eternal. It is the biggest thing in our lives and it is not fake. In its 10 years of knowledge and experience of how to help people become free from drugs, there are about 3,500 people who are now independent from alcohol and drug addiction. Love Rehabilitation Center has helped over 6,000 people get through the special program, The Way to Freedom for Your Family. Thousands of families have become happy again. Love Rehabilitation Center now has 28 branches in Ukraine and 6 branches abroad. You can call us at the Heart to Heart hotline and find the way to your freedom.
Унывать, и не позволю духу Моей жизни унывать Ты напомни там он Чтобы дьяволу служить Чтобы сердце Иисуса Своей жизни воплотить Эй, эй, о, твои душа моя и он Я буду веселиться И прославлять его Эй, эй, о, твои душа моя и он Своим Иисуса Сойдет на стольный дом Эй, эй, о, твои душа моя и он Не сломит страх меня И никаких контролей Не одолеют меня Ведь я жизнь с Иисусом Однажды Он спас меня И мне так весь не боется Как я люблю тебя Эй, эй, о, моли душа моя его Я буду селиться И прославлять его Эй, эй, о, моли душа моя его Эй, Иисуса Займем достойный дом Эй, эй, о Thank you for being with us today. You have been watching a program from the Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for all nations in Kyiv, Ukraine. If you want to become a part of God's growing movement in Ukraine, then we suggest you do the following. First, come and visit the main events of the Embassy of God, our yearly nationwide anniversary conference, our summer and winter pastors' fasts, which are visited by over 1,000 pastors and ministers from all around the world. Our pastors and leaders' seminars, 
that are held by Pastor Sunday twice a year, our annual men's conference, our monthly anointing service for all Embassy of God churches in Kiev on the first Sunday of each month, and also our annual March of Life on the main street of Kiev, which had about 50,000 believers in the year 2003. Second, we suggest that you come to Kiev at any time and visit church services every Sunday and Thursday, topical night prayers, a different theme every night, general night prayers every Friday night, homeless shelter and clinic open every day, rehabilitation center for alcoholic and drug addicts where over 2,000 people have been freed from addictions during its existence open every day. Also, you can visit any of over 200 ministries of the Embassy. Third, you can come to the Embassy of God and participate in God's work in Kyiv, Ukraine as a missionary. Fourth, you can come to Kyiv and attend the nine-month Bible school program at Joshua Missionary Bible Institute, where you will learn from leading ministers of the Embassy of God. Fifth, if it is in your heart, you can become a financial partner of God's work here and through this release the anointing and blessing of the Embassy of God upon your life. Sixth, you can purchase a wide variety of audio and video cassettes, CDs and books by Apostle Sunday Adelaja and other pastors of the Embassy of God. Seventh, you can get all this and other information at our website www.godembassy.org You've been watching the Embassy of God program from Kiev, Ukraine.